You got checked by mods? For what, Steen? Hmm. Maybe we'll have to lower the moderation settings, I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll lower them a little bit. Needs a noose? You said that the person needs a noose? Well, I mean, that's kind of a really suicide -y vibe thing to say. What, what do you mean they need a noose? Oh, to to crawl crawl across. I mean, I don't I don't I don't think you should be surprised that you got. Oh, a nose. Not only you, Egan as well. That is two O's. Oh, they need a nose. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll I'll go I'll go look into turning them down after the stream today. Okay. Okay, guys. Put those together. Noses. That has two O's. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. The things that help you not snore. Well, they also are wearing a mask and are extremely obese. So that, that could be part of the reason they're snoring as well. <laughs> okay, so I don't see any collectibles around here. Yeah, guys, we'll, we'll we'll look into turning it down a little bit after the stream. Walk on as many loud things as we can. You give up? Don't give up. Do what Ekin does. Just put a bunch of periods in it, Steen. In the middle of random words. All right, so now we're going to take this elevator down, and we should be able to... Um, carry this key across and unlock that door if we're sneaky enough. There's a guy we can hug. Drop the key. Well, let's. Hug him and then hide. You fool, hide. And commas. <laughs> and then you should be good to kill. <laughs> and semicolons and colons everywhere. No, I mean, I understood it. I said that the person needs a nose. Okay, so we hugged the little, the little dude. Now all we need to do is pick this key up and make our way through. There's not actually any of them in here, so they must, maybe both are in the next room. Nissi, you can say noose. Well then what'd you mean to say? Oh, shoot. Nope, don't reach underneath here. It's not me, it's not me. Oh, thank goodness. It kind of pulls on your nose so you can can't breathe. Don't snore. Interesting, I've never heard one I've never heard of one of those. Is that a real thing? I think step one to not snoring for these guys is taking off the mask. Though, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. Gosh, that cough. He needs to see a doctor. All right, let's unlock this and get on our way. Search for breathe right. Huh. Weird. Maybe in some country, in some countries, in some dialects, it probably has a really negative connotation. Or it's an insult. 
And that's probably why Twitch blocks it. Possibly. Steen, you know, I know I, I get what you mean. I just have never I didn't even know that was a thing. But I'm guessing you just mean like it pinches your nose. Okay. So this is a relatively straightforward puzzle to solve. You know why it blocks Oh I gotcha, okay. Cool then. We have to make this meat grinder grind out enough sausage links. It thinks I'm talking about when people take clothes off? Weird. Oh yeah, yeah, so we're gonna drop meat into this. <laughs> and then we're going to grind the meat into a long enough sausage link for us to swing across to this entrance over there. But, in order to do that, we need more meat. And since we, no more meat is falling out of that thing, we need to go up here. And find us some meat ourselves. This actually kind of makes me a little bit hungry. Except the meat is actually children that they're growing. But other than that... So initially in the game, you put this one down there, you go downstairs, and you pull another sausage link out of the thing by grinding it, and then it's not enough. So you have to come up here, so then you have to come back up here, and then swing across these meat hooks right here, if, if I can do it, that is. There we go. And then grab this piece of meat right here. So we're just going to go ahead and do them both in one go. Save a little bit of time. Because we want to have time for the DLC today before I have to go. Then we're going to go in here. And I think there's some collectibles in here. Yeah, nice. Okay. Light a candle. Throw this creepy little doll. And go up here as well. I'm not sure if there's something up here or not. Oh. I know there's there though there is this dead dude that we I don't think we can hug him. I don't think there's a way. I think it's just supposed to be showing that they can die. But I've pretty much tried everything to get up there, and I can never figure out a way to do it, so I don't think there is a way. Four cute little dudes. Alright. Now we're gonna go down and pull that little lever again. I'm gonna drop the meat through and we can make our sausage. Make all of the sausage. jump down just for a second make sure there's no collectibles in here that we're missing and we're good to go can't climb up there and can't climb up there all right let's swing across this thing Hundred percenting little nightmares. <laughs> the streaming goal. This is what I aspire to. Okay. When we come in here, I think this dude is gonna come down this elevator and we're gonna have to hide in here, I believe. So we need another key as well. 
call the elevator. And we're gonna go ahead and hide because the dude is in there. He caught me the first time I did this. Their breathing is so disgusting. Like, they're morbidly obese and they're having to breathe through those... Through those masks. Alright. Let's go upstairs and try and grab this key that we're missing. We're gonna hide in this little tube if we can get in here. Yeah, okay. And then he's gonna come up and follow us because he heard us when we got in the elevator initially. You can tell they hear you whenever they let, let that screeching sound out. Alright, then we're gonna creep around him to the other side of this room. There's the key on the table right there, but obviously we can't get it whenever he's literally cooking on that table. We're chopping up this child, I should say. I think he's gonna, yeah, as soon as we get over here, he changes his pattern. So you have to wait until he turns back around and goes back to chopping meat. Go in this next room, and this room is has a very similar concept to the television. We have to press this button and hide. a little faster than that, I guess. We have to press that button, he'll come running in there. And then we have to hide and make our way back into this room. Grab the key. And run out to get through that next door. So if you watch his character model right now, actually, you'll see that he... Well, I think he itches himself. Death counter! <laughs> That should be seven, right? Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so we got it that time. Means we just have to run bloody murder. Grab this key, and then just go, you fool! Go! Oh, she's so slow in carrying things. All right, we're good. We're good to go. GTG. He's gonna aggro here. It should be okay because we should be able to unlock this door before he get down here. What does aggro mean? Um, I'm not sure, like, it's, it's an abbreviation for something. But basically it means that when an enemy sees you, they um, latch onto you and start following you around. So like, when he aggros, that means he 
perceives me in some way and actually becomes aggressive. I think it may be a, a knockoff of the word aggressive, like an abbreviation. So there's a passageway in here. We actually can't get through that door. We have to grab onto this and then go inside of this. It'll drop us down. The Matrioshka doll here. I'm gonna grab that and throw it. Then I believe we can just climb up this wall. Yeah, we can. But we need to cl climb up the other wall. This one right here. And so both the cooks are going to be in here washing dishes. Now there's a very precise way we want to do this. Oops. Before we, so the key to this area is, see these hooks that are going by? At the end of the area there is a button wing press that reverses the way the hooks go by and we can come up here, jump on them, and ride the hooks to the next area. Um, but before we do that, we want to grab one of these hooks and ride it to this wall and light this guy. Because again, we're doing a 100% lantern run. <laughs> This means we have to go back and climb through here. Which isn't too big of a deal. Also, I believe we got the achievement. Yeah, it says we have the achievement for Little Vanda, Little Beast, the mall will punish you at the feast. I think I think this is the achievement that we found. We found all of the dolls in all of our playthroughs. I looked it up. It means aggravated. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we found most of these things as well. Which makes sense, yeah. That does indeed make sense. So we're going to creep past these guys. We, we aggroed them. We're gonna wait until they de-aggro. De-aggravated. And then proceed to the next little kitchen sink thing. So I don't think you can see us because we were in the very back corner of this, which is lucky. Oh, he's just coughing. Okay, good. He almost heard us there. We were walking upright for a second, which made him... Oh, crap. Okay, get under. Get under there. Nice. We're good. We're good to go. So the thing we're looking for is in this next room. It's that lever right there. is when we pull it, it aggroes them again. We need to sneak back to that shelf that we initially climbed up. Is it going to see us here? Oh, good. He didn't see us. Nice. They're just going to keep washing dishes. There are so many damn dishes in here.
Nope, nope, nope. Okay. So that we should be able to drop down one of these drains here pretty soon. Oh, nope. All right, we're good. We're good. We're all good. Oh, okay. So they're, they're gonna... Looks like they're not looking around anymore, actually. So we can just... Climb up here and grab onto this thing. And so this should carry us into the next area. <laughs> My, uh, I'm curious to know how they stack these dishes so tall when they can't even reach, like, where I am. But the dishes are stacked even higher than me. <laughs> hey, buddy. You can't reach me. Alright, he would have grabbed us there, so we need to make sure he doesn't. Run! Oh god, get out of here! Okay. Almost. Almost there! They're, like, throwing shit at me. Oh. So close. So close! Alright, almost there. That eight, eight deaths now? Oh crap, gotta run. We run, it like auto slows us down there for some reason, which is kind of strange. Nine deaths. <laughs> oh, 10 deaths. Damn, Ekin was right. We got to 10 deaths. <laughs> Oh, it's those, it's those plates. That's what's slowing us down. 11 deaths. Shit. <laughs> this is getting a bit ridiculous. We need to avoid the broken plates on the ground. No. Come on. Oh, my God. So close! <laughs> Steambot. I was I was just reading chat that time when we respawned. That one doesn't count. Alright. Will we ever get past this area? That's the real question. Yes! Hell yeah. Haha, uh -huh. you can't get me. I would never die there. Those guys suck. <laughs> You're waiting for your mod. <laughs> Keep waiting, Eakin. <laughs> All right, so we bypassed the kitchen. Doing good so far. <laughs> I lose the bet. <laughs> All 32 messages? That's true. we get to see the outside of this ship and uh, it's pretty crazy looking and there's all these fat people walking on to it as well which is a bit strange to say the least but steam 3 it was only 21 that's right there is no there's no such thing as any numbers besides the number 21 <laughs> 